but what do you think about it? Do you like it? <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on the Dodge Ram 3500 that we bought for our pops. And we finally got some major parts for the interior and the exterior as well. And also we do got a big list of parts that we need to go to the dealership in order just to keep going with this conversion. But before we do any of that, we do wanna bring in the S2000 and do something that we've been meaning to do ever since we did that fresh paint job. So let's just go ahead, pull it in, and we'll show you guys what we're talking about. So as you know, this car got a brand new fresh paint job and it turned out absolutely amazing. And honestly, we haven't even took it down the road ever since we did that paint job because we didn't wanna risk any type of rock chips because this paint was pretty dang expensive. But today what we're trying to do is actually clear brawl the front end of this car. So let's go ahead and actually grab some sandpaper. We're probably gonna lightly sand this whole entire front end, buff it down because it's almost perfect. We just gotta get rid of some of this trash up here. That way, whenever the clear brawl goes down, it doesn't form any type of air bubbles. So let's go ahead and see if we can buff this front end down then we're gonna attempt to clear brawl it All right, so we got the car buffed and polished. It's looking really dang good. Now we're actually gonna pull it outside, give it a quick wash, and then we're gonna start applying our clear bra. All right, so we just mixed up our concoctions, our alcohol solution, and our slip solution. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually find the hood piece because that's what I wanna start with first because it's nice and flat, it'll be the easiest, and I'll just get a feel for how this stuff goes down. So let's go ahead and find our hood piece and slap it on there. So check that out guys, we finally got the clear bra on there and it turned out absolutely amazing. You can't even tell it's on there, but this sucker is definitely protected. It did take a lot longer than we expected, but we knocked it out and we're happy with the results. The hardest part was probably this front bumper because this is a cheaper kit and it wasn't perfectly cut, but we're just happy how it is. Now we can rip this sucker, take it down the road and all that good stuff. But as of right now, we're gonna go ahead and pull this sucker out and bring in some Dodge parts. That is what I'm talking about right there. Dude, that thing is actually a lot bigger than I thought. That's a huge headlight. And this is OEM brand new, but we got it used, right? Yeah, we got it for like 335 bucks and this is the LED. It looks pretty sick, dude. You yeah, know this I mean? is not the black version because we just could not find anything with the black inside, but I think that just looks good, dude. Other than you know? the dealership, the dealership's got the black version, but they're 1200 bucks a piece. We could use that for other stuff. We're gonna get to that later, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and pull this sucker out right here. Dude, I can't wait to actually throw that onto the truck and start wiring it up. You think it's gonna be difficult to Dude, wire it up? that is sick. I don't know, let me look at the wiring back here. So we're probably gonna have to get a plug right here, you know, a plug that plugs in, and then off that plug, we can use the actual wires, you know, yeah. to like, just to tap in our, uh, our wiring harness. I think we can get this sucker to work, but dude, that's gonna help us a lot with putting that front end together. Exactly, in the lining line. everything up, but let's set that aside and move on to these other packages that we got here. All 
I think we messed up. Did we mess up? Yes. Please don't tell me. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's so messed up, man. I ordered a black one. There was even a picture. No way. Hey, oh. you think we can just paint that thing? We'll use the uh, interior paint. You know I what I mean? I don't know, dude. That's kind of that's kind of cheap. You know what I mean? And it's kind of scuffed up like crazy. Hey, we might even we can buy a cover. Ooh, that's the a good idea. The airbag is good. I wonder if we can get this cover, you know, get the black cover. Definitely going to look at that at the dealership, but we're not too worried about this, This honestly. was super cheap, so. Super cheap, but from the dealership, what's the price on them? Oh, it was way, it was like, what, like a thousand? I think it's like 600, 700 bucks. I got this one for like a hundred bucks. hundred bucks, so, I mean, we're not going to complain too much. We can easily fix this, paint it, or even just change this cover, but as long as we got this airbag right here. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. We may just buy another one, a black one, or we may paint it. We'll see, though. Well, looks like we won't be using no razor blade. That's exactly how this sucker came in right that is crazy dude but that's ebay parts for you right there so you can't complain it's a lot cheaper than the dealership hey you even got a tan airbag and you ordered black so as long as this one's the right color i'm happy with it and this one uh the reason why we ordered this off of ebay because it was available right away and, exactly. uh, and it was nearby actually so yeah. it came in quick and it's the exact color right maybe a little bit dirty but i think it'll clean I don't up no we need to unpackage this sucker and actually really look at it yeah because you know the description may be different you know we got a multi-colored interior maybe, maybe even uh, airbag blown in this thing <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, that better not be the case, but let's let's crack it on open. So this thing actually cleaned up pretty dang nice. We had to go ahead and actually wipe it down to see how bad it was. And dude, check it out. It's actually pretty good. But the only thing that we're concerned about is the stitching was kind of brown in a few areas. What I'm going to do is actually spray some OxyClean and see if I can scrub it out to make that stitching a little bit nicer. You know what I mean? Because who knows? This thing, man, it may have came off like a flooded vehicle or something like that. Flooded or like a super high mileage truck. I mean, I didn't really get the details on it. But you know what? This will work. Yeah, it'll definitely work. And this stuff Dang. right here should work too. Oxy power right there. Oxy clean. Let's go ahead and spray the whole entire thing down. You ready? Yes, sir. Dang. Hopefully that don't stain our whole day. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't like bleach it too crazy. No, I think it's not too powerful right there. Yeah, I mean, you know it's I mean? made for interior, total interior, upholstery and everything. So now, if that go. was made by Mr. Clean, the ball headed guy, I'd be worried. Man, that thing will probably take the whole leather off of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead, do some more detailing, and then we're going to move on to the biggest package of them all. Dude, that's the most important right there. That's the coolest one. So this sucker is looking almost OEM. Maybe a few more passes once this sucker is inside the truck. But dude, it looks 10 times better than what we got it. Heck, if I was selling that thing, I'd probably just clean it up one time and ask a few more bucks out of that. But for right now, let's go ahead and actually put this aside because we got something more exciting over here, dude. And this is not off of eBay. So we got something crazy in here. That's the one way to open it, dude. We're gonna fool Jackie Chan on it, but look at this fat, fab four front bumper. This is gonna look sick. And we, what did we order this for? The 2019 Ram, right? Yeah, the 2019 Ram, because we are using the 2019 bumper uh, brackets Bracket. and stuff like that. And we wanna go ahead and actually open this bumper before we even do anything, just to see how uh, it actually fits on there because you do need the bumper for framework as well because you basically need everything for framework. Yeah, and er everything count, you know, you need everything to do everything else pretty yeah, much, you know what I mean? This thing right here is a beast, dude. It's not even open yet. So let's go ahead and probably crack some of these lines up and see if we can get this full thing out. Dude, that is gonna be the ultimate bull bar bumper. And we could have got the regular one without the bull bar, but we wanted to do that because, you know, he's gonna be on the road a lot, right? Yeah, and he always sees deer run out. You know, when you're on the highway all the time, you always see animals, deer, and stuff like that. And you don't really wanna smash that new uh, conversion front end with that. Heck no, this right here is definitely gonna protect it. That is some beef. I think this is gonna look super sick on the front of that truck, dude. And we got a winch hole and stuff like that. Dude, yeah, we got winch crazy. plates. And also, we're gonna get rid of the good thing is also we're getting rid of the stock hook. Yeah, get rid of the stock hooks because we can throw some D-rings right here. That's going to look way better. And what else is this thing fitted for? These big holes and right here, what is that? Some sweet LED pods and some light bars. We got those in as well, but we'll get to that a lot later. 
But dude, this is gonna be epic. I can't wait to throw it onto that new front end. Dude, dude. this thing is gonna look like a beast with this stuff on there. So what what else is in the box up there? Do we have brackets and there stuff? There may be some mountain hardware. Let's go ahead and crack that open as well and uh, see what we got in there. Let's do it. son this right here is heavy duty i think this is the main bumper bracket slash winch plate or something like that Dude, that's gonna be sick we're definitely gonna have to get a nice winch now probably a synthetic rope winch those are the best and it's just gonna look sick in here nice and clean up in that bumper but also we got our little housing for the led pods right this yeah is, that's just gonna clean it up make it look way more aggressive than it already is and also we got a few other brackets right there and this is just an example of what it's gonna look like this is not the exact bumper looks pretty good but ours is gonna look better you know what we got the bigger bull bar but that's pretty much it compared to the ebay stuff dude this thing came in packaged grade a it came with dang blankets or potato sacks whatever you want to call it hey you can remember the potato in sacks in elementary school you oh just, man them the races potato sack races i don't think they're legit yeah but he, honestly dude huge shout out to reckless off-road for hooking us up with these amazing parts definitely check them out they got parts for almost any off-road vehicle so definitely i'm gonna leave their link down below but as of right now it did get a little late so we're gonna continue working tomorrow in the morning all right so it is the next day here and before we continue working on the dodge ram i do want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsorship cove and cove is the ultimate bluetooth stereo speaker system that is water resistant and perfect for all environments the cove speaker does connect to your smartphones tablets and computers via bluetooth and it also has a powerful built-in subwoofer that produces superior sounds and it also lasts up to seven hours on a single charge and it'll even reach up to 32 feet from your bluetooth device so check this out guys when the cove speaker is combined it creates a 360 degree sound effect but when you split this sucker apart it creates the optimal left and right stereo sound which is definitely my favorite feature about the cove speaker and to top it all off you can get 65 percent off of your entire speaker using code goon squad so i'm definitely going to leave the link down below so be sure to check them out now let's get back to work So before we actually start mounting that front bumper, we're actually gonna quickly run to the dealership, pick up a few parts that we already ordered, and also order a bunch more. All right, so we made it here to the dealership, and we're taking a look at one of these trucks, and these are the headlights that we got. Check that out. Those LEDs are pretty dang nice, ain't oh, they? Oh yeah, they're really bright. Well, let's get another glimpse at this, dude. This is like one of the best ways to just know what we need to order, right? Just, what are you Just looking to at? check it out. I'm just trying to see what goes behind this grill because this is all covered. Kind of difficult to see, but you know, I'm just trying to get everything as as much as possible just soaking it all Did, in didn't yeah. we get this bracket right yeah here? we got these brackets but we're not gonna we're not gonna use we're them. not gonna use them yeah. all right so we just noticed that we need to order a few more things we also need to order this right here right yeah that cow whatever the windshield wiper hopefully it works with our windshield wipers i think they're probably identical but other than that when you order like this this just all these miscellaneous stuff this little cover right here and also these major pieces right here that's going to help us align the hood because the hood actually sits on that so i got a lot of pictures i'm probably going to shut the hood take a pictures of some of these gaps because exactly. we want to make them identical and then that should be it we're going to run in there order everything that we possibly can then we're going to head right back to the house Golly, man, this is hilarious, dude. Who would have thought we would have been at a dealership sitting underneath a brand new truck looking for measuring specs? Measuring right? and taking pictures as hey, much as I could. But you know what? You, in life, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. So oh, this yeah. is the best way to figure out our specs and measurements, try, trying to see how that bracket goes, right? Yeah, trying to see how this bracket goes using my measuring tape while taking pictures of all the measurements. And hopefully we get this thing right, dude. Yeah, so we could uh, go ahead and weld in that bracket and then we could throw in our bumper and everything else because uh, the bushings still didn't come in. We were really hoping for them to come in, but they'll be in tomorrow right yeah definitely tomorrow but yeah we're gonna do a few more measurements and then we're probably gonna head back to the house all right so we are back from the dealership and this apron bushing actually hasn't arrived yet it'll be in tomorrow so that means we won't be able to weld in this bracket but anyways we're actually gonna go ahead and grab the 2019 aftermarket bumper and try to mount it to this 2012 dodge ram frame So 
so we finally got that front bumper on and it looks killer looks super sick nice and heavy duty we got to just mount it on there temporarily it's still going to need a bunch of adjustments as you can tell it doesn't line up perfectly with the grill that's going to be done when we're done adjusting all the other gaps and once the aprons actually get welded in forever you know what i mean but what do you think about it do you like it very like it but uh, very nice this uh, style and, uh, you need a winch winch yeah and <laughs> fog lights uh, oh oh you don't even know but i guess you're going to work right now yes he's they, going to... they don't know either that we got oh yeah we're about to show them i guess it's going to be a surprise for you and for the viewers as well but he's off to work and we're going to show you guys what else we got for it i guess we'll go ahead and show them the surprise check this out guys we got some sick rigid light pods and also a light bar these are not your average light pods you know what i mean they're really nice mm two different colors. Yes, sir. They're amber on there. They got amber backlights and they're just white. Yeah, you know? we'll probably run the amber color. It's gonna look super oh, yeah. sick. But what do you say? You want to mount these on there too and see what they look like? I don't know about that. Should we? Just to see what they, just how they mount and just see what it looks like. And then we'll also throw in the headlight, right? All right, let's do it. So check that out guys we finally got that headlight in and it looks absolutely amazing this front is starting to look a lot better with every single part that we throw on this thing but the next thing that we're probably going to do is actually mount these led pods and maybe even that 30 inch light bar as well so let's just go ahead and crack this stuff open and see if we can mount it onto that bumper All right, so all the LED lights are on and this truck is looking even better than it did before. I definitely love the way this front light bar is kind of hidden and it's flushed. It looks really sick. And as for these holes in the bumper, this is actually for the intercooler because on the newer trucks, the intercooler sits right below the bumper and it's kind of sideways. So we're definitely gonna have some airflow to that. And you're probably wondering what these holes are. There's six of them all the way around the bumper. And that's actually the parking sensor holes, which this truck does not have. So we'll probably utilize those and probably put some like flush mount amber lights. I think that'll look really cool and as for this hole right here this is where the winch is gonna go and there's gonna be a nice winch guide right there and we're probably not gonna use the d-rings because I think it just looks a lot cleaner like that but that's probably gonna be it for tonight did get super late on us so we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and we woke up just doing a little bit of thinking and some research on how some of this 3500 conversion stuff is done and we couldn't really find anything online. The only thing I could find is somebody doing the 2020 1500 front end on an older 3500, but I definitely think this front end right here definitely suits this truck a lot better and I think we're probably the first ones to ever do this, right? Yeah, first ones to ever do this and it's pretty crazy documenting this stuff with you guys Heck because yeah. Heck, dude, some of you guys may do this conversion yourselves to your truck. For sure. It's definitely getting up there on the bill, but we'll probably reveal that later. As of right now, we did get some more parts in at the dealership, so let's head that way. All right, so here at the dealership, and this is one of the conversions that we just showed you the picture of. Looks pretty dang good, but I, I think he should have did that front bumper right there. That's nice and sleek, but I'm wondering how they, how they lined up the fenders because the doors are a little bit different, I think. Yeah, they look a little bit different. I don't know if this is all the same. Who knows, but... They should have filmed it. They should have yeah. filmed it, documented it, and helped the other people out, I guess. But we got some parts around back, so let's pull back there. All 
right, guys, so check this out. This is actually our headlight wiring harness. It's just the plug with all the wires that actually tie into this. So we're just gonna actually just somehow figure it out how they work with the stock wiring harness that we have it on and just tap it into this plug. That way it just plugs right in like OEM, dude. It's gonna be pretty sweet, dude. This sucker right here was pretty expensive, 100 bucks just for this. Or, or 300 bucks for the entire like that's insane wiring dude loom, that's but. insane how expensive just the plug is but do we, do we get this whole container right we got to take this whole container with us i mean there's the other one for the other headlight a bunch of little brackets this is our fan shroud brackets uh bent a little bit different from our truck so all this stuff is good to look, have look at this what is this is this a transmission cooler that's kind of tiny dude i wonder I if know. that'll even work transmission or power steering cooler i have no idea we're just gonna have to wait to get our other cooler because yeah to see which one it is but yeah that's way smaller than the ones we we're, have we're, honestly we're probably going to pop up under one of these trucks a couple more times you know what yeah, i mean a couple see more times time. just to see how everything goes together but other than that dude i think we got a few more things right here and we should be good to go Alrighty guys, so we are back home and this is how you know you spent a lot of money at the dealership when they give you a plastic crate to put all your parts in it. Also got a bunch of little plastic trim pieces and coolers, our little fender flares. But we're gonna go over that probably in the next video. The most important package is right here. This is our inner cooler. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see what it looks like. Dude, oh my goodness. Dude, this sucker was pretty heavy carrying it. Look at it. What is it made out of? Aluminum or steel? Definitely aluminum. I think, dude, it's super heavy. It's got to be. Oh aluminum. yeah, that's cast aluminum. You can just tell by that molding. But dude, dang, this is. Dude. I think this is definitely gonna work. You know, it's not gonna overheat or anything. The only concern is uh, the radiator, right? Hopefully, yeah. it doesn't stay too cold. But we have a uh, what's called a what thermostat. A thermostat on there it ain't gonna get too cold, man. This thing should run just probably even better than than the original truck. Better itself. than OEM. That's yeah. right, boys. But we got a bunch of parts here on our hands. But that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. In the next one, we're probably gonna start piecing together this front end for good, welding a few things in, and we may even throw in that dash. But make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything because this thing is going to be an absolute beast when we're done with it. So with that being said, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. And if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Gun Squad. And if you want to help support your boys, definitely be sure to visit GunSquad.com and copy one of these Gun Squad t-shirt established in 2015 when we very first started. So if you want to help support your boys, definitely be sure to visit the store and copy one. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.